All right, welcome. <clears throat> Day 38 from the Voice of the Martyrs. Scripture reading is Hebrews 10, 32 through 34. But recall the former days when, after you were enlightened, you endured a hard struggle with sufferings, sometimes being publicly exposed to reproach and affliction, and sometimes being partners with those so treated. For you had compassion on those in prison, and you joyfully accepted the plundering of your property, since you knew that you yourselves had a better possession and an abiding love. If you have lived long enough, you have most likely had the unthinkable happen to you or to someone you love, an untimely death, disasters, divorce, chronic illness, and broken relationships rife with pain. We could fill countless volumes with sad scenarios. Our individual scripts of sorrow juxtaposed against a world steeped in horrendous events threaten to overwhelm us with all the pain, that is, if not for the difference Jesus makes. <clears throat> the story of Pastor John of uh, Mashish, Nigeria, is one that takes your breath away with its crushing sorrow. The morning of July 7, 2012, changed this minister's life forever when his church was set on fire by the mostly Muslim uh, Ferlani people. 44 died in that inferno, including his wife, four of his seven children, and two of his grandchildren. <clears throat> How does one survive a loss so devastating? It's painful, Pastor John said. It was very painful. But there's nothing you can do to change the situation apart from lifting it up to God. Apart from lifting it up to God. There is a secret for all of us. Pastor John did just that by going to God's word, especially the book of Job. He gleaned sustenance from a man who had walked a similar path before him and was able to say, In the days where there is good from the Lord, we accept it. When there is difficulty, how can refuse? How can we refuse to accept that? See Job 2.10. Pastor John discovered that the truth of who God is doesn't disappear against the backdrop of brutal situations. Quite the contrary. Against the darkness is where his light can be seen best. God and his word doesn't budge an inch against any deluge of difficulties. They remain the rock-solid truth that can always be trusted. Going deeper. What has been the unthinkable in your life? We have seen how many times of deep crisis draws people closer to God or cause them to walk away from him. There is much we don't understand in this life, but we can't let the unthinkable become the unthinkable. As counterintuitive, it is, it is to our human thinking. God's word instructs us to remain thankful in everything. How is that possible? by keeping our eyes on the cross of Jesus, who did the unthinkable for us. Dwell anew on his excruciating sacrifice that ensures us eternal life, a life beyond our wildest imaginings, and offer to him your thanks in a note, poem, or song. Lord Jesus, when we read of Pastor John's losses, we are overcome with empathy for him, our brother in Christ. Continue to confront his aching, to comfort his aching heart. Thank you for how that same heart has remained steadfast and sure of you in the midst of unthinkable losses. Thank you that you and your word are ever true, ever strong, ever trustworthy. We praise you that because you are for us, nothing can come against us on this earth that we can't withstand with your strength. Praise you, dear God, for being our unmoving rock and refuge in the midst of the most unthinkable sorrows of life. Amen. Okay, so that will do it. Um, for day 38. So until the next video, you all take care and God bless.